530 feet above the streets of Sydney. Guy Norris, one of Australia's most accomplished stuntmen, prepares for the highest fall he's ever attempted. Norris is an internationally respected stunt veteran who has performed and coordinated stunts in more than 50 films. This monumental jump is being staged for a British commercial in which a man swan dives from the top of a 43-story building. But the dizzying height is only one of the problems the stunt team faces. There was a lot of work to be done. We had to bring a, a rigging crew both from the United States and from Canada. They also brought out a, a descending system for us. And we had to be able to manufacture and build an entire rigging structure that we had to take to the top of the building. Our problems were that it all had to fit in an eight-foot elevator and we weren't actually allowed to put any bolts into the top of the building at all. The rig will have to be held in place by barrels filled with water. Lane Levitt, head of Hollywood stunt technology company Levitation Inc., is overseeing this unprecedented leap. The stunt relies on a device called a descender, which works like a giant fishing reel, precisely controlling the rate at which the stuntman falls. We can do a fall any, any speed we want, from full speed to half speed to just basically crawling down the side of a building. We can uh, start the slowdown any time we want. It's just so adjustable. That's why the Descender was such a remarkable breakthrough. The Descender relies on wind resistance to slow the fall. By varying the size of the fans on one end of the device, the speed of the stuntman can be controlled. Bigger fans mean more wind resistance, and therefore a slower fall. The descender has never been used for this high a jump before. The team must carefully assess the physical demands it will place on the system of pulleys and cables. It's a tense moment for Norris, whose highest previous leap is only 150 feet. When you're standing on top of a 100, 150 foot building or cranes or anything else, you're there and it's high, but it's not that bad. When you're standing on top of a, a 400 or 500 foot building in this case, the whole perception is very different. The whole world seems to curve below you. The descender has revolutionized high fall stunts, which for years relied primarily on airbags. We've had more deaths and injuries on airbags in the past few years than any other piece of hardware. The highest fall possible using an airbag is around 300 feet. With a descender, the only limit is the length of the cable. For this commercial, the team has brought in one of the biggest descenders in the world, one of only a few large enough to handle a 530-foot plunge. Meticulous preparation is essential. The wire must be well oiled and carefully reeled onto the machine. One snag could produce a sharp jolt, capable of throwing the stuntman into the building. To keep the plummeting stuntman at a safe distance from the skyscraper, a diving board is set up eight feet over the edge of the roof. A test bag takes the first of many trial dives. The tests are analyzed in detail, the crew looking for any sign of potential problems. By dousing the test bag with water and watching the drips fall down the side of the building, the team sees if wind turbulence will affect Norris's drop. At least half the drop, the, uh, the water falls directly down, and then it moves slightly to our right as we look out the end of the building, that is to the south. After careful consideration, 
The crew elects to proceed, deciding that the shifting breeze shouldn't pose any danger to Norris. Weeks of preparation, the stunt is over in seconds. It's too quick for the crew to notice that an unexpected gust of wind nearly threatened Norris's safety. About two thirds of the way down the building, the wind whipped around the bottom, actually blew me back into the building. And I remember very specifically just turning and pushing off the building with one of my hands and then going back into being a high dive position. In the hands of the experts, devices like the Descender make almost any fall possible. But ultimately, the most exciting stunt action depends on the expertise and courage of professionals like Guy Norris.